Ford has acquired Digit. That's the world's first commercially available humanoid robot. Agility Robotics is launching Digit, a robot with arms and legs to work with humans and in human spaces. For commercial sale, a hand Ford Motor Company is the first customer receiving the first two robots off the line. The corporation continues the existing partnership between Agility and Ford to explore ways to help commercial vehicle customers, including autonomous vehicle businesses and making warehousing and delivery more efficient and affordable for their customers. Key applications for further exploration are indoor or first mile logistics and last 50 feet delivery. The research also will focus on how Ford's commercial vehicles and Digit talk to each other and their surroundings through advanced connectivity technologies. For example, Ford's connected vehicles could uh, continually update cloud-based maps that can be shared with Digit so it doesn't have to recreate the same type of information. The team expects that as Digit will be part of a package delivery service, this communication channel will also provide delivery specific information such as where a customer prefers their packages to be left or other individual package delivery needs. The communication channel also allows Digit to ask for help if something unexpected is encountered. Since the first Digit prototype was shown back in May of 2019, Agility Robots has tested it extensively, refined the design, and even added new features to be ready for production and sale to customers. Upgrades and improvements include more advanced feet that allow Digit to balance on one foot or carefully navigate obstacles, new sensors to perceive and map the world for robot navigation, and customer-ready, powerful onboard computer hardware. Digit has been designed to walk upright without wasting energy, so it has no issues traversing the same type of environments that most people do every day. Digit's unique design also allows it to tightly fold itself up for easy storage in the back of a vehicle until it's called into action. Once a vehicle arrives at its destination, Digit can be deployed to grab a package from the vehicle and carry out the final step in the delivery process. Now, it is available for purchase now. However, Ford does not say what the cost is. Considering this is the first humanoid robot that can work all day on a single charge, if you have to ask the price, you probably can't afford it. Since emerging in the Chinese city of Wuhan in December of 2019, the new COVID-19 coronavirus has spread around the world. As of February 12th, the death toll within mainland China has exceeded 1,100 people with 44,000 confirmed cases. As the outbreak grew, so did public questions and concerns. How far would the virus spread? How can people protect themselves? To help address those fears and resolve the crisis, public safety officials in China explored how to use new technologies, and DJI stepped up to that challenge with their drones. Together with agriculture technology think tanks, DJI has been working to fight the disease. On February 4th, they pledged almost 1.5 million in aid to help contain the outbreak. They have also adapted their Agras series of agricultural spraying drones to spray disinfectant in potentially affected areas. Drones can dramatically improve how China attempts to kill the virus in public areas. They can cover far more ground than traditional methods while also reducing risk risk to workers who would otherwise spend more time potentially exposed to both the virus and, of course, the disinfectant, which isn't very good either. After rounds of research and testing, teams developed the best practices for spraying a chlorine or ethyl alcohol-based disinfectant from the air. The concentration of the solution, as well as flight guidelines, can be modified for different circumstances, such as whether an area is known to be infected or not. DJI has sprayed disinfectant in over 3 million square meters in Shenzhen as of now. The company is also helping 1,000 counties in China to adopt the spraying method. With this solution, spraying efficiency can be 50 times faster than traditional methods. 
In a crisis where time plays a critical role, this is great news. These past few weeks have given people a chance to discover new ways to curb the spread of COVID-19 in China. Loudspeakers were mounted on drones to help disperse public gatherings in crowded places. Drones flew banners advising people how to learn more about precautions. Thermal cameras on drones were also used to monitor body temperatures so medical staff can identify potentially new cases. Drone delivery is also another popular topic. The outbreak has kept millions of families in their homes to avoid contact with others. A huge help to these households can come in the form of contactless delivery. Organizations can send food, supplies, and medicine to anyone in need. At the same time, avoiding face-to-face -face contact will cut the risk of infection. The battle with the novel coronavirus has only just begun, but recent reports show the tide appears to be turning. Researchers are learning more about the virus every day. Vaccines are being developed in laboratories around the world, and the public is doing its share by taking every precaution available. Here's a snapshot of what would happen if Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory collided with Westworld. It's legendary Mythbuster Adam Savage being pulled by a Boston Dynamics robot dog while seated inside of a rickshaw that he built himself. Because Savage apparently really, really loves rickshaws and robots and top hats. Can this man please build an amusement park already? Savage put out his first video showcasing Boston Dynamics quadruped robot Spot in late January of this year. But this is the first time that we've seen him literally put the robo pup through its paces. And while clapping a rickshaw onto a Spot's back doesn't seem like the most productive way to use the robotic tool, it does make sense from a demonstration standpoint. One of Spot's biggest selling points, and Spot will most definitely be coming to market at some point, is its ability to carry stuff from point A to point B, as is shown in the Boston Dynamics teaser video. For those who are totally unfamiliar with Spot, the good news is that the quadrupedal robot is not nearly as creepy as that crazy episode of Black Mirror. Certainly not as smart anyway. As of right now, Boston Dynamics, a robotics design company based out of Massachusetts, has begun leasing out beta versions of Spot to select members of various industries for testing. Savage, of course, is the temporary owner of one, but they've also reportedly been leased out to the Massachusetts State Police Bomb Squad as well as an oil rig in Norway. The demonstration is especially interesting because it helps to show which stage of development Spot's currently in, as well as what Spot's potential is as a tool in the future. Note that Spot, as well as everybody's favorite backflipping bipedal bot Atlas, is remote controlled by a human operator, and it is not yet autonomous. In fact, we see in the video that Spot needs adjustment to its out-of-the-box software in order to better complete its task of pulling Savage and his rickshaw. Although the fact that Spot's able to get from point A to point B and make whatever corrections are necessary to do so over varied landscapes is still miraculous and a testament to the significant progress that's been made in robotic locomotion. It's exciting to think what tasks Savage may come up with next for Spot, because we know they'll hint at potential real-world use cases. Incidentally, we'd also very much like to see drag racing with robot dog-driven vehicles. Think about it, Adam Savage in his Victorian-era steampunk rickshaw versus Russell Crowe in whatever kind of glorious chariot will be racing around in Gladiator 2 sounds like all kinds of thrilling. It'll be like pod racing, only exciting.